Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We're doing something a little bit different and very cute today. I've created and want to share with you an adorable rabbit raising challenge I've come up with to hopefully inspire some gameplay. Before we jump into it, I do want to say you are welcome to use this challenge guide as a framework and tweak the challenge to suit your playstyle. I don't mind if you decide to make it easier or harder, it's completely up to you. Also, this challenge will require the Cottage Living expansion pack for access to the very cute rabbits. Now let's kick things off with the setup. You'll want to start with a small cottage that just includes the necessities. While you can decorate this how you wish, you must choose one of the worst options available when it comes to anything that has a big impact on your sim's needs. So generally, that includes their bed, fridge, stove, toilet, shower, you know, make them all really bad. You should be able to keep costs around or ideally below 10k simoleons. Then, you'll want to add one of the wild rabbit home objects to your lot. You can add this if you're building without playing a household, but if you have a sim moved into the lot, then you'll need to unlock this object first. This can be done by finding one of these rabbit homes in the Bramblewood area or the old new Henford area in Henford on Bagley. Once found, befriending the rabbits that live inside will unlock the object for your own home lot. Finally, you just want to make sure your challenge starter home has a lot of backyard space to build on, as this is very important for the challenge. Note that I've built a starter challenge home and have placed it onto the gallery for if you want to use it. The next step is to create your sim to take on the challenge. There are no rules here. You make whatever kind of sim you like. But of course, Cottage Vibes does fit in well. Also, just keep in mind that the animal enthusiast trait will make this challenge easier. So depending on how difficult you want this challenge to be, then it could be something to pick up or avoid. Now move your sim in and it's time to say goodbye to your cash money. Hold Ctrl plus Shift plus C to bring up the cheats bar and then type in testing cheat space true and then type in money 1000 into the bar and press enter to set your cash to 1000 simoleons. Note that if you want to ease up the difficulty, then give yourself 2500 simoleons to start instead. And with that, we're ready to begin. The aim of this challenge is to raise 7 healthy rabbits and rely on them and only them for your own livelihood. This means no to making money through careers or hobbies. You can still make objects through hobbies of course, only you can't sell them for a profit. Repairing or upgrading objects around the home is totally okay, but you can't sell upgrade parts you find for money either. You're probably thinking, okay, but then how do I make money? Once you form a close enough friendship with a rabbit, then you'll have the option to ask them for a gift and they can give you gifts. There's a hefty cooldown for the gifts that they give you, meaning you can usually only ask for a gift around once per day per rabbit. Now selling the gifts they give you is your profit, but rabbits can also give you flowers as gifts. And in this instance, you're allowed to plant that flower, and once it's grown, sell the flowers it creates. There is a restriction though, being that you can only have two plants at any one time. Also, when given a flower by a rabbit, you are allowed to sell it to unlock the ability to buy starter vegetable packets. You can grow the plants given from this, again sticking to the cap of two plants, and the main reason I've added this is so that we can have access to carrots for our rabbits. Carrots make for a great gift for rabbits too, which is a good way to help increase your friendship with them. Now our aim and our ticket to completing the challenge is to have 7 healthy, thriving rabbits, but you can only purchase an additional wild rabbit home and start raising another rabbit once 3 conditions have been met. Firstly, your friendship bar with all of your current rabbits must be full and they must all be named. Here's where the animal enthusiast trait comes in handy as it'll unlock additional interactions with rabbits that can help you raise your friendship with them faster. The second condition is that all of your adorable rabbits must be dressed. You can track down the creature keeper in the Bramblewood within Henford on Bagley and he can sell you clothes for animals. If your rabbits gift you llama wool, then you can ask the creature keeper to create you outfits from it free of charge and they'll arrive in your mailbox. Alternatively, if you have the nifty knitting stuff pack, then you can use the knitting skill to craft animal clothes for your adorable rabbits yourself. 
And finally, the third condition is that each time you buy a rabbit home, which costs 400 simoleons, you also have to spend at least another 500 simoleons in landscaping the area around your wild rabbit's home. Landscaping has to be nature focused, such as trees, bushes, flowers, grasses, rocks or ponds. It cannot be functional objects that your sims can use themselves, it has to be for your rabbits. Once you have 7 rabbits, all with maxed out friendship, all dressed, and all with landscaped homes, then you have completed and won the challenge. Now this challenge should be played with your sims aging off and animal aging on, which leads us to what happens if one of your rabbits passes away from old age. In this instance, you don't have to sell their home, but you must max out the friendship bar, as well as name and clothe the new rabbit that lives there, before you can purchase any more rabbit homes. Note that you can toggle animal aging on and off within the pack settings tab in game options. I will also flag that if you're taking care of one rabbit per home, sometimes additional rabbits will spawn. And in this case, you have two options. One being to ignore all the additional wild rabbits and just focus on one rabbit per home. And two being that you can hop into buy mode and as rabbits are kind of like objects, you can sell all the additional rabbits. It's also worth noting that you can click on rabbits and choose to focus the camera on their home to find out which is theirs. If you want to make the challenge more difficult, then add in the rule that whenever you have four or more rabbits on your lot, you'll activate the wild foxes lot challenge. This will see foxes appear from time to time and they'll often torment and even attack and attempt to kill your rabbits. It'll mean you have to play a more active role in shooing away or befriending foxes so that they leave your rabbits alone. If a fox kills a rabbit, then again you don't have to sell the home here, but you will have to max out the friendship bar with the rabbit again, as well as name them and clothe them before you buy any additional rabbit homes. A quick side note is that the satisfaction point rewards are all allowed, with the exception of the money tree if you have the seasons expansion pack. And that's the main crux of the challenge explained, but I did want to say it's also worth spending money and time relaxing and enjoying the challenge, whether that's buying a violin or a guitar and training those skills so that you can play to your rabbits, adding outdoor activities or benches, or if you have the outdoor retreat or snowy escape packs then you could even buy a tent and camp out. You might want to take up knitting so that you can knit clothes for your rabbits, or you could purchase the buyer's beware or ornate beauty chest to store some of the skill books that rabbits can give you. I also want to say that I'll have a detailed challenge breakdown in the description, including three different setups for taking on the challenge in either easy, medium or hard difficulty. And with that, we've reached the end. I hope you enjoyed the rabbit raising challenge I created. If you decide to give it a go, then again, I have a starter home for it on the gallery and my gallery ID is pdplaysit. Also, please feel free to let me know how you go and if you like this style of content as it's a little bit different. And if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.